What's up everybody? This is the Asian Video Gamer here today with another session of Dark Souls playthrough or gameplay. Today I'm going to be uh, doing uh, some PvP. Um, I haven't beaten the game yet for, but I'm at the soul level of like uh, 135 or somewhere somewhere around that which is kind of higher than what I usually do for Dark Souls PvP but Apparently, people actually go on to like soul level 50, 150. Um, but, you know, if you're 150, then you can probably do every build on one character without sacrificing anything. This first match, um, I was just testing the waters and uh, testing my Claymore and <coughs> that Phantom, <laughs> Phantom hit, man. I thought I thought I, I was out of range, but apparently not. So in this game, um, you have to actually dodge ahead of time. Like you gotta be really far away. You gotta expect like at least I don't know a couple. Give it one extra feet of space. Otherwise, you're gonna get hit by that phantom range. But if you realize that, it's not really that big of a problem like most of the hits I in PvP I, like like look at that he's not touching me but you know like I expect that to happen but sometimes it sucks and th I, I went for that backstab because I realized this guy has like a really long like uh, recovery uh, re <coughs> long recovery so I, I went for like a roll and try to PS but he, he rolled away before I can do it. And right now I'm really far behind in terms of uh, in terms of health and this guy just gonna clip me there and he's using like a really sweet weapon a faster weapon to be not as predictable. Uh, here I jumped and I thought I had it. but he, he predicted my jump and went for the staff so it was a good game. Uh, here, this guy did all his setup, like magic barrier and flame pine resin, I think, here. But I, I don't think this guy's really good at it because he's just spamming R1, which is really dangerous. If you do things that are predictable in Dark Souls PvP, you're gonna get punished, like that. You're gonna punish, maybe not a backstab, but you're gonna get hit. You're gonna get free hits to people. See, look, it's super, super predictable. Here, I predicted that, and but I did not punish it because I suck. Still, like I'm not that good at this, but you know, like I'm not really a beginner either. So now, uh, I got him just really low. What I want to do is to be able to um not rely on my claymore. I, I realize like the claymore, the move sets is too overpowered. Like you get a horizontal swing and you have a thrust and the thrust is so far away. It's so deceptively long that it hits people when they don't realize it. And there's so many tricks you can do with this. So it's actually a really reliable weapon. Uh, this guy, I don't think he's playing for reals. Like, this guy's using, like, a poison weapon, and he's not doing any damage to me. Like, look at that back backstab. He dealt nothing. But this gives me a very, uh, very, very good perspective on how poison buildup are. Like, even if you do a, do a backstab with a poison weapon, it's not going to inflect the status right away. And this guy's hiding behind the shield, but, yeah. Don't hide behind your shield all the time, and you get killed like that. Unfortunately, my controller really sucks or something. I can't get that. I can't get that shield brick to come out every single time. Like here, I'm trying to do it again because I know this guy's just guarding, but I can't do it. It's so annoying. This fight would have been a lot easier if I could get my thing, uh, my guard brick to come out. But I was like, ah, fuck it. This guy's not even playing for real. So I just finished him off, 
soon with the R2, the thrust attack. Oh yeah, notice that my my offhand, I'm using a black scorpion. A poison black, uh, a raw black scorpion. Uh, rapier. It's actually just a gimmick thing. Like, I don't actually need to use that. I could use a plus 10 <laughs> recurts rapier instead of this, but I, I, I just find this to be hilarious because, yeah. I like I like how it, how it looks. Um, the first match, you notice that I'm where I was wearing like really shitty armor and wasn't actually like serious about the duels. Well, I'm not really serious. Like you can tell, like I'm wearing a white ring. Like I'm not really optimizing for things. I'm just trying to uh, to win through fun. Uh, well, actually, fun over win. And I think a lot of people are trying that out too. Like this guy, he actually has a pretty cool build. This guy looks, like, reminds me like a Dolph Maul build type thing. And it was so cool. Unfortunately, my, I, I feel like my Claymore is like way overpowered. I wish I can, I, I can switch out my weapon to like a, like, like my broadsword instead of, because I didn't have it equipped, and yeah, I killed him like, it was kind of weird because it looked like he hit me, and it doesn't hit me, and then I hit him because he misjudged. Good game, guy. Good game. It's actually really, really fun. I, I don't know why a lot of people complain about like Dark Souls 2 PvP, like, for the most part, I don't come up with people that spam magic or, you know, like, spam shit. Most people that I come up with have, like, pretty legitimate builds. Like, it's not, like, overpowered build. I mean, sure, there's gonna be, like, times where you run a, run into a guy that just one-shots you, but my, my, my build is not optimized either, to be honest. Like, I could actually dump all my attunements back into health and stamina because right now I'm really lacking stamina and uh, my health is not that good. Well this guy's the first um, dual wheel guy I actually come up came up against. I believe he's using two rapier and that actually is pretty good pretty damaging actually. And uh, right now I went back to my uh, Oro's armor because I like the effect on how it looks. It makes me kind of look really, really nice. But yeah, I get owned. Like I got no poise at all right now. But that's okay. If you play with poise, I find that to be... Uh, it's like a... It's, a, it's like playing with a handicap. Like... You can stun the other guy, but the other guy can't stun you. That's kind of lame. And by the way, I'm using a life of protection, a uh, ring of life of protection, because I don't want to. I, I I haven't like I said I haven't been I haven't beaten this game yet, so I don't have like infinite amount of human effigy. So I like to uh, keep my human effigies in stock, and rather just spend souls. I have souls. I have lots of souls. So right now, I believe this person is... This next person should be... Yeah, the crystal weapon thing. So this is the first person that's actually using like a one-shot build. But that's okay, because... You know, if I get hit, it's my fault. Like, like that. Well, it's not really one shot, it's two shot. Two shot build. Like, I got one hit on him, but... Oh, man. I, th I thought I dodged back, but apparently I didn't, and he got... Maybe there's an input delay. I, I really knew that he was gonna hit me. I, I predicted it, but for some reason I didn't react. To back row or front row, or whatever. I think I, I kind of lagged there because like I was thinking if I should go for a backstab or play it safe and then that really killed me up. Ah, uh, some weird glitchy 
video thing here. Um, the other really, really good thing about Dark Souls 2 PvP is that you don't have to wait a freaking half an hour to get a match going. You can just summon them and people will come and so much better. Like holy shit, in Dark Souls 1, you gotta wait half an hour for a fight, which is like, sometimes lasts like two minutes because people are jerks. Oh, this guy's a jerk too. This guy's using a dark, dark weapon. I, I, I don't know what he buffed it, but one hit, they took like 75% of my health. And then two hit, kill. So, and this guy actually mocked me. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, right. If I actually used a weapon as hard as that, like, I would have two shot him too. I hit him twice. I think I hit him twice. So he hit me twice. I hit him twice. But it's okay, whatever. You're gonna run into people that are try hard builds, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's still fun. Here are some more glitchy things. By the way, I didn't, exp I didn't explain my build. Um, well, my build is from my PvE build, so I actually have not upgraded my armor. My claymore is plus 10 magic. I am an int based build, as you can see in my soul vortex, but I never cast it out because it sucks. I don't even know why I have that armor. See, look at this. This guy seems to not have that much health because like two hits. And he's taking a lot of damage right like three hits he's almost dead so at this point I'm like oh shit maybe I should just use my scorpion because I haven't used that for a long time I haven't used that much so I don't know why he tried to bow there but yeah I killed him while he was bowing that was kind of bad so sorry about that I don't know why you were bowing, but yeah, maybe you knew you were going to die. I don't know. So this is going to be the last fight, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this PvP session. I'll try to make more in the future, but yeah, it's I, I'm kind of running out of time, and I'm trying to start up a website and all that stuff, so maybe soon oh yeah another thing i noticed the the rolling attack on this scorpion thing sucks it misses you the, the guy completely if you lock on but if you don't lock on like it's re it doesn't have a wide range attack so it's not really that good the only good thing about it is the fast poke like right here point and he's dead so to those guys